Hey, what's up? I'm on holiday and so uh, I might be getting a bit bored. I thought I'd start this video with a handstand because this video is all about success and the tools for success. And one day I aspire to be able to do a handstand properly. Uh, I finally finished reading and summarizing uh, Tim Ferriss' Tools of Titans. There's really some incredible tips and tricks here from some of the most successful people in the world. Far more to summarize in a short video. And so you can read my 11 page summary for free in the Google Doc that's linked below in the description. Um, I've got quotes there from the book and the summary and like some exercises I want to implement. Um, but if you don't want to read that, here's the quick abridged version. So the number one thing that I kind of saw across the board from all these successful people in the book was some kind of daily meditation. So some kind of waking up and repeating the same mantra over and over to yourself, or whether it's just sitting quietly and thinking about your life and thinking about the world and being at peace, or some kind of just breathing exercises. All of these successful people had some kind of daily meditation to clear their mind and as Tony Robbins says, prime yourself for the day. Uh, just to, you know, keep sane amongst all the craziness of success and uh, really focus their, their minds on their goals. The next thing that was shown to be super important, like on the way to success, is writing. Some kind of daily journaling or, you know, part of meditation and that, just to get what's in your mind onto paper. Because very often you have these nebulous thoughts that are floating around your mind and you don't feel good or you feel stressed about something and you're not sure why. And writing down what you're feeling on a piece of paper can help you understand what's going on inside your dome. And uh, I found it very interesting because uh, some people recommended morning journaling before you start the day, writing down what you're grateful for, writing down what you hope to accomplish in the day, writing down what you know to be true about yourself and the world, just to kind of have a, a good grasp on the day and your place in the world. And then also there was evening journaling where people wrote down what they'd accomplished that day, they reviewed the day, how they were going to be better the next day. And I think there's lots of merit in that because so often in fast-paced lives that everyone lives nowadays, you just kind of go, 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 and then you collapse into bed at night, not having even thought about what you accomplished that day or how you can make the next day better. And so, yeah, I think writing and that's got a big place in uh, clearing your mind and, you know, making your life better. I've mentioned it several times already. But another thing that uh, a lot of us really successful people did was that they all developed gratitude. They all developed some kind of way of every day thinking of something and writing down something and uh, meditating on something they were grateful for. Things in their lives, small things like the sun in the sky, a new breath, a moment with their kids, that all the big things like having you know clean drinking water, having a successful business idea. Um, just cultivating a daily habit of being grateful for what you have now and fostering that into like daily happiness because it's very easy to, you know, on the hedonic treadmill of life where as soon as you gain something new or you acquire something new, some kind of new material wealth or happiness and that, it becomes the norm and you don't uh, become grateful for it anymore. And so taking time out every day to be grateful for what you have and, you know, not, not focusing on what you don't have but focusing on what you do have already. Um, that a lot of people said that really helps them to remain happy every day and keep a good mindset and attitude while they were chasing big success and dreams and that, to still be grateful for what they had. A particularly cool idea for developing gratitude from Tim Ferriss himself is to take like a big mason jar and put it in a prominent place in your house, like in your kitchen or something, and every day on a piece of paper write down something you're grateful for and then put it in the mason jar and every few weeks or so review what's in the jar. He called it his jar of awesome, but just to remind yourself about what's good in your life and, you know, to remember the, what you're grateful for in times of not-so-gratefulness. God, that's not a word. This isn't really a specific piece of advice, but something I noticed from all of the successful people in this book, every single one of them, they read, and they read a lot. I haven't read most of the books in this library here, this is my parents' library, but uh, there's so much literature in the world that you can learn from and that you can implement stuff from into your own life. And all of those successful people were reading so much on a weekly basis. And I think that's really how ideas and great success comes about. You learn about it from the past. And it might just be survival bias since these are the people that are successful in their certain fields in life. But all of the people in Tim Ferriss' book say that you need to reach for the stars. You need to figure out what your moonshot is and be as the most ambitious person you can be and go for those most ambitious goals in life. Um, a lot of, almost all of the people in the book were very aware of their own mortality and the fact that their life is very short and that they're going to die one day. Um, so it's good to keep that in mind. But also the fact that you can do so much with your life and just that belief that you can do so much led them on to going 
to do great things and obviously they work very hard but uh, shooting for your moonshot and actually not putting a limit on the goals you set for yourself I think was one of the very important take home messages in the book for me um, you know you always we always say to follow your dreams and that and, but most of us just kind of think it's a cliche but the people in this book really took it to heart and look where it got them and so I think that's I think one of the most important lessons in the book is to set ridiculous goals and follow through on them because that's how you're going to achieve the life you want. Now, those were the big things, but there's so many small things in this book, practical tips that uh, you can read in my summary. But I just want to read you some of the really striking quotes that I found in the book. Short phrases or things that people said that really struck a chord with me. Hello, Mitch much speaking? All good. Hmm. Someone dialed the wrong number. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, so, quick phrases that I think have some meaning if you can, if you take time to digest them. Success comes from the rules and habits that people have implemented. Never audition for a role. Carve yourself a unique niche. Always question if your 10 year plan can be done in the next six months. Everyone dies before they are ready. Plan your life accordingly. You don't discover yourself you create yourself. We do not rise to the level of our expectations, but we fall to the level of our training. If it isn't on the calendar, it isn't real. The best way to predict your future is to create it yourself. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that almost all of the people in the book exercise. There's something in that mind-body connection that really drives people to success. And I'm really gonna try hard in the next few months of the second year of university to really try and implement some of these things and these tips and these tricks and these ideas and these practices into my life. Because uh, academic success is just a small part of life. And I wanna have a successful life. And so I'm gonna try and learn from the greats. And that's it. I think I really learned a lot from this book and uh, I gained some perspective on some certain things in my life, things that I wanna implement in that going forward. Because when you think big picture in math, it's only three years left of university and that's the big bag of the world and you've gotta to, you got design your life the way you want it. And so, you know, I learned a lot from this. Hope you gained some meaningful from it. And uh, back to regular programming tomorrow. See you later.